Hello everyone! Welcome back to Super Paper Mario! Last time, we went through Chapter 1-2, The Old Desert and The Old Town. This time, we are going to be heading through, quite presumably, the desert. With a bold quiver of his magnificent mustache, Mario let loose a hearty sneeze. A single grain of sand had flown along the warm wind and tickled the hero's nose. It wasn't long before Mario and Fifi- Tippy- I think every time someone closes a door downstairs, it makes my headphones crackle. It wasn't long before Mario and Tippy found the source of the sand, the Yold Desert. Along the endless, sun-baked expanse, Mario and Tippy continued their search. Chapter 1-3, The Sands of Yold. Didn't old man watch it say something about there being some ruins around here? The pure heart can't be far now. We'd better not waste any time. Yold Desert. Eh! Yeah. Damn it. Oh. Ah, I knew it. I did not know there were four of these. This is a speed flower. It temporarily speeds up time. <clears throat> You'll also earn triple points and coins while it's active. If that's the case... Damn it! Run for your life! It's a zombie shroom! Oh. Oh, and it slowed down. <clears throat> That's a bald cleft. You might confuse this rock-hard foe with a rock. Max HP is 2, attack is 1, defense is 2. Flames won't scorch this foe. Set off an explosion near it to flip it over, then it'll be vulnerable to attack. Or, you can do it the more hilarious way. You can, <clears throat> or you can do it the more hilarious way. Oh. Well, that's just sad. Huh. <sighs> ah. Doink. Ah. The fuck is that thing? This boombox or blast cones that appear appear sound at anyone it doesn't like. Max HP is four and attack is two. Get startled by its own loud noises. What would drive a music lover to listen to anything that loud? I think what I find funny is the face it makes. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, no, I thought there were uh. Oh, there's a card back there. You got a squid card. Doink. Doink. Wait, is there anything back here? I'll live. <clears throat> I'll live. There's a cleft. Not much. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's not much else. I don't know why I said yeah like that. Sometimes weird things happen with my voice. It just kind of, kind of happens. Ah! 
This dragon-like monster is a Jabus. It, they tend to bite anything near them. Max HP is 5 and attack is 1. Its only weakness is a glowing spot on its back. It won't look behind, so try flipping a 3D and sneaking behind it. Oh, you actually do sink into it. Oh, there's nothing over there. Yeah, I can't really do anything with these things. All you can really do is kill them like this. Or you can... Ah! Crap, 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 Ow! The hell, man! That's a turtle. It's a nasty gas bag that spews a plume of sleepy gas. Max HP is 5, attack is 2. That gas will put you to sleep, so don't go sniffing it. Some say the gas comes from their mouths. Some say it comes from elsewhere. Oh dear. I don't think I want to know where this butt comes from. It's a literal butt. Ah, new enemy. It's a Goomba, one of Bowser's minions. Max HP 1, attack 1. It really... <clears throat> well, except this one. Wait. Oh yeah, um, if you press the directional button, you can actually look back at previous texts. It has no remarkable traits. Well, it's, except this one has the ability to flip between dimensions. But I hear Goombas do have their fans, so what can you do? Damn it. Aw. Uh, I don't I don't know why I thought that would count. <clears throat> Doink. I like how he wakes up like, oh who's there? And then when he sees nothing he just like oh, I'll go back to sleep then. Is there anything back there? There's something right here. You got a Courage Shell. The shell briefly reduces the damage you take by half. Alright, nothing much over here. Well, you're a dumbass. Can I, uh... No, I can't. That's actually a nice little trick you can do with some places. If there's like a long stretch of path, depending on the side you're on, if you flip well on the path, you're instantly taken to one of the sides. I like the details of the little swirling sand. The old signpost. Find ye the tall red tree of fortune, and leapeth under its branches ten times. Is that all it says? Like... Yeah. Also, notice the particular look of this thing. Fancy. I like how they can turn simple square-like things into actual shapes when you turn into 3D. See, like that. That's what I was talking about. So now we go find this palm tree and jump over it, jump under it ten times.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Heck yeah! That works somehow. Ah, hi. Look at the detail on that guy. Doink! Suck it! You guys are stupid. I just watched the clef and a spiked Goomba jump, drop down into the sand. What is your major malfunction, brother? Ah. Level up! Damn it! Performing tricks is all the importance when it comes to leveling up. No, not, not the row. No, him. It's a spiked Goomba. Look at that spiky hat. Max HP is one, attack is two. That spiky hat makes stomping or stomping it or picking it up a very bad idea. I would recommend throwing something at it, or you could just walk on by. I mean, you could just pick him up by his feet, couldn't you? Or does Mario just prefer to pick him up by their head? I don't know. I'm not one to... Oh, goddammit. Wait, can I... No, I don't... Okay, yes, I, I, I'll save, but... Eh! Can I, like... I want to see if I can jump. No, I can't. I got 20 health, it doesn't matter if I run out. It phased through me. Google it. So you're the last chicken that's stashing me boss's business. <clears throat> oh, so chunks. You shouldn't have crossed the count. Now I'm gonna have to get chunky on ya. You, you're one of complex thugs, aren't you? Oh, chunks is my name. That pose. Oh, chunks is my name. 
And I'm no common Douglas. I thug for the count to count. Count Black itself. One word for me, Blacky boy, and I come to make you feel some damage. Damage? Uh, make that damage. Whatever then. Not that it matters a pinch of stew in a sandstorm. You're a goner. Do you even know what Count Black is trying to do? Duh! Me voice using powers and one not to bring back some order to this here world. And any of Black being any uh, enemy of mine, they all get chunked. This old chunks is a lot scarier than the other enemies we've faced so far. Maybe you should use my power to investigate him when we start the battle. Enough is enough already! It's time to sun to it's time to thunder down from on high and deliver a beating of the ages! Chunk on it! That's our chunks. He's a big bearded warrior of a man. Back HP is 20 and attack is on. He can grab you by the feet and hurl you. If you're in reach, he'll toss you, so keep your distance. But you can turn the tables on him and use throw to send him flying. Alright, good to know. Come here, buddy. Ah. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was actually kind of hilarious. There you. He. Ow. Come here. Yeah. No. Not this time. Ah! God damn it. What in the world are you doing? You know what? Nah! No, fuck you. Doink! Wait. Aw, oh, I can't... Nope. Nope. I'm chunked! Me chunks. You failed me! I got pummeled and you barely sweat your brow! Hey. What kind of a strange little man are you? This strange little man is none other than the legendary hero Mario. Mar Maria, eh? Just an odd name, yeah? But you bet your baby I'll remember that. Wasn't there another Mario game where you could ha where you were asked what your name was and you could optionally give your name as Maria? I think there was something like that, but I don't remember. His name's not Maria, it's Mario. Yeah, remember this, Maria. If you didn't look like such a wee toddler, I wouldn't have taken it so easy on you. But hey, I have to give I have to give it up for your effort, so let's call it a tie. You better get some chunks of your own for next time though, eh? And while you're at it, why don't you wax that Bonnie Stasi or Maria? Till we meet again, eh? Chunks away! Chunk farts away! I don't know if he's farting or if that's actually a super jump. But it's funnier to imagine it as a fart. Did you understand a word of what that goon was saying? Sort of. Eat. Wait. What's down here? It's you. And you. What's that? You got a ghost room. Summon the ghost room to snack on your enemies. Alright, I can get three more items. I really, really wish I could do a better Irish or Scottish accent. But I cannot! It's over here. Purchase ye atop the, the uh, purchase ye atop the distant platform of blue, and the following is for the eyes of the hero only. Gaze ye at the side of the signpost. Nice flowers. 
purchase you atop the distant platform of Blue End. Gage you I did. Oh, you mean like this? Press minus and one at the same time to make something of interest happen. I'm pretty sure that's pressing minus. Yeah. Ah! That's an ice dribble. It's a nasty gas bag that spews a plume of freezy gas. That gas will freeze you, so don't go sniffing it. Boink. Ah! No, 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 ow! That, oh, that, that actually hurt me. Wait, what's down here? Turnbull! Ah! You dick! I didn't know you could do that! It's not fair! Wonderful! That was- that was mean! That was so mean of you! Alright, so... Mine this in one. Oh, it's like a slide puzzle. End of chapter! Until next time, everyone, in the next episode of Super Paper Mario, we will go through the ruins of Yold, and we will see what will happen next. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more content in the future, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell, and I'll see you all next time.